One, two, three. Tag Me Podcast, back again with another episode. Joined by Anton and also Ola. And we've got a special guest today. He's making me feel a bit small. I know, fam. He's, he's got a deep voice as well, you know. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself? Because I'm a bit scared that I'll shake you for this back. I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> no, 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 introduce yourself. Yeah? This, 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 might, my arms this might be a good intro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I'm Paulo Tote. You know, Tangin Podcast. Is this here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Saturday, you know what I mean? With the lads. Come on. Let's talk about what you do. Because I've seen you on Instagram. I've seen that you put on special events. What's the brand called? Yeah, it's, it's, it's Dilma Book. Dilma Book. It's like, it's like a health and wellness hub. I call it a progression hub, to be fair. So it's like where you can go and gain information, meet people in order to propel your life or progress in certain elements which I try to focus on health, wealth, and happiness because those are key pillars that, have, that are important to me. And your wealth can not only be money, but it could also be like your family, mm. you know, like your loved ones. And it's just kind of making sure those pillars of life are in check so you don't feel out of balance in a sense, you know, because that's something I'm trying to work on myself. So when I learn things, I've always been a guy to learn things and automatically share it, if you get what I mean. Whilst I was keeping the cards close, making the money inside it, I was trying to say, hey, you know, well, if you try this, you try that, you can all, you know, get rich together. Yeah. Some, some Jay Spades things. Since when East, I have to use that. <laughs> I have to use that. Like, <laughs> you don't reveal our secret. We're not in East London. No, no, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, there's one thing that I'm going to hit straight off yeah. at the top because you're a big guy. Mm. And, it's, and it's flexing as well. Um, plant based. Oh, just moving. Is it, is it, oh, is it all plant based? Like, well, apart from chicken. Oh, you eat chicken, yeah? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> nah, it's not bad as me and my gym. It's like, bro, don't be this guy, bro. I'm like, bro, if I need to use the toilet, <laughs> that's it. That's yeah, that's the only reason. Nah, I wouldn't be using it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the <laughs> you wouldn't go to KFC? I probably would. Yeah. I don't even guess it. I probably would just use the toilet quickly. Have you ever tasted KFC? Yeah. I used to love KFC. Yeah. Bro. So, that, what's it? But these. He doesn't even know what they're called now. He's like, that, 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 um, yeah. that thing with the M? 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 That So, yeah, let's, let's talk about the journey in, in the sense of. And I'm dropping the microphone. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the journey in, in the sense of you making that transition from not eating meat. To then just being a kind of person that's only eating plant based yeah. food. It's mad that you think about it because anybody around me would tell you of my like love for food, you know, how you know you don't need you don't need the food around me because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, oh, it's gone. Yeah. Are you gonna yeah. finish that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, think about it. I just didn't used to ask. I'm like, oh, it's that looks good. What are you gonna say to me, bro? <laughs> would you back would you think back then? I was chubby, so it was a bit different. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it was the same, like, same me, but a bit, just a bit chubby, you know. But um, I guess at one point, I just kind of started asking a lot of questions, started learning about, started, started learning more about the body, how we interact with nurture in terms of like the food, learning more why things happened to those before us, in the sense where like, I don't know South Africa, why is that the highest nation with certain issues or. You know, and then once you start making that, when I started making the association, this is that conclusion that I formed at the time. I was like, cool, I'm not going to wait till things happen to me mm. in order to make particular changes. You know, mm. I feel like, you know, you do more, you know more you do, you know, if, you, if you're presented with new information, you base your decisions based on any information you have at the time, or yeah. you have a conclusion that makes sense for you. So the conclusion that I made at that time was like, cool, the food that I'm eating and the path that I'm going down, I'm about to run into health problems, mm. you know, and I don't really do things 50-50 that, in that regard. Even though I did do it 50-50 for a bit, where I was eating fish for a bit, mm. you know, I was eating chicken once a month, give or take, until one day I decided, you know, it's all the same in some regards, so let me just quote all that, and I've never looked back since. How long ago was that? Just over seven years ago. No? So yeah, seven years. How, was that, how was that transition? So going from that point of eating chicken, fish, KFC, whatever, to 
just purely plant based because I hear people saying can't go through no dry fruit that's the thing I hear, I hear people say they struggle with energy or yeah. iron or zinc or whatever yeah. do you know what I feel like I've always been a curious person mm. so one of the things that I've enjoyed is like learning new things and if I started something I want to kind of master it I want to become good at it and have a full understanding of how it works so like even the body or food so for me it was easy it's like I, I know the body, I know what the body needs in terms of fuel, let's give it the right fuel that it needs. I feel like you can't, what people assume is that you just drop things, then go, go along with your day job. Whereas, you know, you have to you have to replace things, you have to understand what the body requires, how much vitamin mm-hmm. B, free, how much niacin does the body require. That's the mistakes I was making. Yeah, if you don't give the body the right fuel, the body's going to be like, you have a car, yeah, you yeah. can't just go from, you can drive a push, you're putting in a premium thing. Mm-hmm. Then after a while you're like, no, the economy is tight. They put in petrol in the car. The car might run a little bit, cool, you know, it might go for a mile. And then it's and like, start shaking, you're like, oh bro, I'm having fun with sleeping. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I put I actually put a book together, which I think was my first book. Second book. First. Oh we'll publisher as well, we're gonna throw that one into the mix. Just trying to, you know, I'm trying to the thing is, I feel like books last forever. They do. So that's one thing that's like cool. I get example, and I'm not, not trying to impress anybody, but my brother passed away not long ago, yeah. And he, he used to write like poetry, mm. you know, and then sometimes when I want to feel that energy, I read it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so like, yeah. it's weird, that energy, that, that book stuff, that's why I think that like, books last for him, I was proud of That's like he's conscious, isn't it? It's yeah, like, it's weird, it's like your mind on something, so you're still here. Yeah. But anyway, um, so the book was, Every nutrient that the bo- every nutrient that you the body be- body needs every nutrient that the body needs and what I personally get from and that's what it was it was like an A to Z guide everything you know I mean A B C all that yeah, yeah. so long, that that helps how right? long did that take to create I don't know a lot of research to be fair but a lot of it is also a lot of research but a lot of it was stuff I worked on anyway so how it used to be like I've been doing Dunga book since two thousand and eleven. Okay. Like initially, there was no face to it. I just used to answer people's questions on Twitter. But when people ask me questions, sometimes I used to go above and beyond where I just create like a small document and send it to them. Yeah. So the book, in a sense, is a collation of some of that information that I had any, mm. and then added a little bit more research to it, and I just kind of put it out. Because that's an interesting place to, to start from is, I know a lot of people now are influencers or they're building up brands, but they don't really have like that information behind them. They haven't got the expertise. I'm not saying that you would you clown class yourself with an expert now or well, I, just got some, I got some certificates recently, yo. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of people that claim that they're experts, but they're just literally in their first year, two years yeah. of branding or even first six months. But mm-hmm. I think a lot of people the true value or where success is really driven from is when you can provide value and you've got expertise and that information of past years or past mm-hmm experience that you're living proof of mm. what's happening mm. and um i think even before we had this conversation we spoke about like what's your why mm. and one of your biggest thing was kind of community was it mm. you know you were saying from early community was a big thing for you you was always out and about mm. and i guess that's what kind of helped you in the sense of building out your personal brand or even your brand or doing books in the sense of helping people out mm. there's people who want to put themselves in a better position whether it be health because you're saying health is wealth mm. So you're there as a contact for people to be like, look, because I tried to become a vegan and then I, was, I lasted a day. I did vegetarian. You did quite well for a day still. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I lasted five months, but the health implication mm. wasn't the best. You know, mm. I was like low iron, everything was wrong because mm. I wasn't getting the right yeah, nutrition. Yeah, you know? yeah. So then with a person like you, who is living it, mm. who's kind of gone through the whole information side, making sure that your body is like, well, I don't know, nutrition or whatever the word is, um, then you're the person to turn to. So, community is a big thing for you. When did you think you first kind of came across that whole community thing? I don't know. Well, has it always been there? But when did you think, I'm going to start pushing it a bit more? It's weird, like, today I think it's one of the first time I use community. It's, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a... Uh, I used to have a, a slogan which was like our central hub. 
making fitness accessible for everybody. Or this was back when I first started, and that is kind of the people who need it sometimes don't get it, and it's easy to evangelize the people who already know. Mm. Whereas the people who don't know, they are hard people to reach, and I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to put my thoughts together here, but in terms of when I first started getting into the community stuff was, I used to have, I, I, I used to know a lot of people, I still do know a lot of people, and I used to ponder to myself at certain points whether if you had something that made you happy, but other people, it could make other people happy too, would you be happy knowing other people don't know? Do you get what I mean? So that was your only term for? Yeah, it's like, it's like being rich. Are you going to really be happy being rich, knowing that other people don't know how to get rich or can get rich themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, can you really be happy knowing people are very, very unhappy? It's like internal dialogues that I had in terms of trying to, under, when I was younger, trying to understand the world in a sense. And I guess some of the conclusions that I formed was that, hey, I could at least do something. If I learn something or if I understand something, I could actually do something to do, try and do something to actually impact somebody else or they can potentially impact somebody else. And it's not completely selfless. <laughs> you know, there's obviously going to be some sort of benefit to me, whether it's a feel good factor or actually making some money for me. Yeah. yeah. I haven't figured that part out yet, but it's. Slow, slow, we'll get there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know I went around the stuff with that question still. No, that's right. I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's, it's a deep, you know what I mean? The way that the whole sense of community come from is, is a deep, deep one stuff. So I tell you, you kind of grew up in, in like a community sort of thing. Like just, yeah, you said that you knew a lot of people. So like, put it this way, like when I was in school, you know, when I was in school. Who's that guy in there? Come on, you You've got hearts. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What it was, it's like, I, I feel like, I was lucky in a sense where some of my, some of the things presented to me where like going into top set at certain points, that's an opportunity. Being placed on that like, gifted and talented yeah. crew, that's an opportunity. Mm. Whereas some of the other people I hung around didn't get those same opportunities. Mm. So what that meant was I was one of the only people out of a particular batch I was in to get good grades, even though the grades were dead. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So a lot of people didn't go to college. And when I was at college, like, Pretty much nobody that was to the left and to the right of me went to university. I was mm. the first one. When I got when I got my grad scheme, I didn't really know many people I grew up with who were even going to uni or who even had the opportunity to say, "Look, I want to get a grad job." Yeah. And that's one of the things that I had to think about for a whole year because I decided to turn down a grad scheme in order to actually chase that entrepreneurship, that start business, because I thought, you know what, if if I wanted to be about the us. I need to potentially do things that over the long term could be about us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So have your own business start employing yeah, people. Yeah. If, yeah, training if, if it blows and stuff, yeah. then I can start bringing people in. Don't, don't get me wrong, like, a few friends of mine, after I'm talking at 21, they start university. They, and I have so much respect for them. Yeah. It takes a lot to humble yourself and start mm-hmm. university when people are finished. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? And that was something I thought about quite a lot. In a sense, where look, you know, we have to be if we're, if we're really gonna say certain things, mm-hmm. we have to be about what we say. Yeah, yeah about, right. You know what I mean. Whatever. So with that kind of point you mentioned about going to college, the grades, university, no mm-hmm. one to the left or out of you being able to make the trajectory themselves. Mm-hmm. Were there people ahead of you in terms of figures? So were there people in the older generation that you looked at and aspired to? Be in terms of, oh, he started a business, let me do mine. Or was it just genuinely you in your head, like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, in my head, to be fair. There wasn't, there wasn't many people. Like, I grew up in North West London, and North West London, from as long as I can remember, it's been about, you know, we we watched Pay and Fall consistently growing yeah, up. Was the one. Like, and that influence from how we talk, yeah. you know, like, if you watch how Nan speak, if I could show you videos from me in 2010 speaking like that. It's just how we, how we spoke. Right? Yeah. yeah, because it's that at, when I was in school, there was DVDs called um, Running with the Streets. Yeah. Probably this for It's not a South thing, like a North West thing. Right? Yeah, right. All these guys are shining. <laughs> Girls shining. That's that's what um, that, that North West side is all about. And the point I'm trying to say is nobody was saying, from what I saw, instead of putting this money over here into, like, into the jewelers and stuff, Let's put it into starting a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
So there wasn't like people in business like that, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, even when I started my company, I had no idea what I was doing. I made every single mistake. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what made. That's the thing. And how old you I started at, we just came out of uni, so I was probably 22. That's quick. Again, because like, what you mentioned about people kind of going to university or starting late, and it's mad that you sort of had that grad scheme, but you were like, you know what, now I'm going to go out and do my own thing mm. and chase my own dream. Like, I don't know about you, but at that age, I don't think I had the confidence to... Still trying to figure things out. Yeah, I think still trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out. Not much you do, like, you yeah. have the business that could be created yeah. for my yeah. own. <laughs> I took the lead. I took the lead. I, yeah. I feel like, do you know what I feel like? I feel, you know, this is the time to take leaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, to try stuff. It's 90% chance it won't work. Mm -hmm. But at least when little... When, little, when the little man's born, you, know, you can speak to him and say, look, daddy, try this at one point. I understand from experience that you shouldn't do it like that. Do you get what I mean? Okay. Is there certain long-term mm -hmm. implications of actually taking leaps and having personal experience with things where I feel like it might not be profitable, it might not be fruitful, but if you love something and you think something could work, just try oh, it. Man. Go all you can do is try it. That's all I've been saying. Like, I, 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 I young at you. The older you get, it gets harder, man. Yeah. No, 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 no. Your wife is looking at you. Yeah. You, 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 you want to do one rap or something? <laughs> you want to become an actor, man? Is you Denzel? It's quite an acting, man. Be that. Just <laughs> no. You're right, there is that time pressure, but at the same time, you've got to think that you could be living for a very long time, 80 years, so then, mm. I'm 28 now. If I was told that now, you've got three kids, basically give up. There's something in me that's going to keep me kind of like, well, I can it's going to be a struggle. You've got three kids and then they got diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what I can say. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what, I like to think of things, I put myself in a situation because I've got a visual mind in terms of how, how I see things. So I have to ponder upon that. So when I when I decided to not take the grad scheme, which was like 30k, which would have been a lot of money, do you know what I mean? And it would have grown in the sense of the stuff that I've learned. I had to realise that, look, this could take me 10 years. This is mm -hmm. something I had to say to myself because I, I, I see it as optimistic realism. And you were saying this from what, 22? Yeah, when I started, I was like, the, when I had to make the decision. Your brain was, oh, yeah, that's this guy's head 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 head. Head. That's what delayed gratification for me. Don't get me wrong, I understand the mental side of it. Don't yeah. get me wrong, I might not be able to survive the 10 years, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I have to be aware that it could take me 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, during that whole process, you could lose your friends, people could doubt you. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should jump into a pool not knowing how deep it is, you know. Yeah. If you're going to make a decision, you should That's understand. That's what for days. I'm getting into rocks. I know. Now listen. <laughs> I cut them under. <laughs> nah, but Shout out, man. I mean, I don't know these brothers, but it's... But it's... But it's... But it's... I'm just... I'm just a good kid. I'm using it as an example, I mean. <laughs> nah, but what I'm trying to say is, yeah. It's like, edit this. It's like, edit this. It's like, edit this. Hey, no, I'm just out here. Hey, hey. I'm not even smoking. I looked up to these brothers, but I don't know. The first thing they say is, look, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying these stuff because it sounds good. These are the stuff that I had to internalize. Mm -hmm. And it's stuff that keeps me grounded to now because it hasn't really got easier in a sense. Mm. You know, it's not like. And the pressures we put on ourselves is even worse than people put on us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as I stepped in today, you're like, oh, I see you grinding. Yeah. In my head, I'm thinking, oh, I could be going harder. There's, there's that, yeah, 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 yeah. that, you know, that, there's that always stuff. that in, in, in that self. So it doesn't get easier. And I, I understand it could even take my, take me a certain longer amount of time to get in my head, to get to where I want to get to physically in my head. And it's not always about the money, but sometimes there's, there's other things there. And especially, it gets harder, it's something I had to realise where people to the left and right of you, like the guys you graduated with, could be on your, their fourth promotion yeah, 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 yeah. before you even start seeing some traction in your life. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. How are you going to stay physically motivated in that sense? And don't get me wrong, there's ways to speed things up. Like if I could go back, maybe I'll, I'll have a job for a year. I'll work in a company that I aspire to have. Yeah. You know, get some skills, get them to train me, make some money. That might speed things up, you know, working smart in a sense, but, you know, 
if you know you're doing it, if you don't. Just exactly. That's the whole it's part of everything. life, isn't it? You have to roll through it and learn from it. Learn yes. from that. With, with, sorry, you mentioned sort of like motivation and sort of staying grounded and the kind of chats you have in your head. Mm. Obviously, at, your, at that age, 21, 22, that was young, like we said, you were light years ahead of a lot of people. What, or I guess, who do you listen to or what books have you read that you've said, that you, that you can say, this book, no, this book or this audio book or this quote uh, from this person that had a yeah. profound effect. Because you know people have those quotes that they just say to themselves continuously, man. Yeah. Like you've got your Gary Vee, you've got your Diddy, yeah. your Jay-Z, they've all got their kind of trademark statements. Yeah. So they're yeah. not about, they're not about something. Like, yeah. this last week I've been listening to Jay-Z's Black Album on repeat. Yeah. And I'm like, this guy, I'm like, from because that was what, 2004, yeah. two, two, I'm like, this guy was ahead. Yeah. And I'm sort of seeing that head. I'm like, talking about Billy Tom. I'm like, this guy's not like, yeah. I need to reintroduce myself. Like, he was what, probably what, 27, 20, when that count, I can't remember, but yeah. he was ahead. And I'm like, yo. So what is, what is that for you? Because one thing I've noticed on socials is that a lot of people will portray themselves as, I have it all figured out, mm. everything's great, I've got all this money, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But in reality, it's not behind bad. closed doors, that's not just the case, isn't it? It's but really I appreciate really that. I feel like people don't gravitate to help you if you do that. And that's one thing this book is also reminding me, like he goes to the enemy that we were speaking about, mm. is how the humility, you know, like I put up a post on my LinkedIn the other day where, Normally, I might say, yeah, business, happy birthday to my business, you know, <laughs> we closing deals. Yeah. In, in the post, I was like, look, if you want to help my company grow, if you want to help me grow, I would appreciate introductions, I'd appreciate, you know, contacts or whatever it may be, adding me to your preferred suppliers. And the point of that is, it's like, I'm keeping it real now. I'm not trying to promote any false sense of, I wasn't doing that before. Like, my social media has always been about the purpose that I, I, I I set out for, yeah. but I feel like, yeah, a lot of people, not being real, you you can potentially block potential blessings. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm oh, sorry, I caught your question. Yeah, that was that was that was nice little tangent. That was a nice little tangent. Yeah. So like, who, yeah, so motivational books, quotes. Um, who do you listen to readily? So some people, like for example, for me, Tim Ferriss. Mm. So try as often as possible, not every day, but most days. Mm. Listen to one of these podcasts. He mm. recommends a lot of books or. Other or, you know, other forms of education, mm. and I'm on my way to kind of get that book or learn from that, and I'm like, ah, I see the connections, I see where it's coming from, yeah, and that sort of keeps my ground with motivation. So, what is that for you? What, what are some things that help you? Okay. Um, yeah, books help. Books help. So, like, when I first made my decision, I remember the day after my exam, when everyone was partying, mm. I went to the library, I was like, snap. <laughs> like, you went back to the library? I went to the library. Did you forget something? No, on God, I went to the library in the morning. I said, this is the first day of the rest of my life. I, I want to take it seriously. So I started planning, I started reading. Yeah, it's not like it helps. Like, I'm not, I'm not rich. <laughs> <laughs> that was my mindset. And I read um, Think and Grow Rich, yeah. um, Napoleon Hill, um, The Alchemist, as you spoke about earlier. And I've always kind of kept a quote book. It's like, if I hear a quote that I like, Oh shit, so you write quotes then? Yeah, I write right then. You know, yeah, I was just saying that earlier, I was thinking, hmm, I've got a book at it. Quotes! I've got my favourite quotes, because like, it's love, mm. it's a collection of years of like, hearing quotes. Oh, you are on this book. But that's the kind of some of the stuff that, you know, keeps me grounded and understand that there's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. The situation you're in, as bad as it is, there's some brother who, yeah. who's got it so much worse mm. and is still grateful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not special in that sense to, to be moaning. I try not to complain. I focus on what I can't control. I try to let things I can't control just be and accept it for what it is. Yeah, reading them off now. Have you got a favourite one? Uh, like well, one of your two men. I've got to say, what's one that comes to mind straight away? Like? Uh, one, of the ones I, one of the ones I say when people ask me that is it came from a movie called Revolver. Have you seen Revolver? I've seen it, yeah, yeah. Is it Idris or something? No, nah, it's uh, oh. Andre 3000, uh, Jason Stratton. How you Shatton, say? Shatton, yeah. That Shatton. movie is like a, it's a, if you watch it, right, cool. you're going to have to watch it four times to this thing. When did it, it come out? About, it's about to it came out a yeah, time ago. It's a Guy Ritchie film. Okay, it rings, okay. So basically the whole, not to spoil it for you, a lot of the movie is about the ego. 
Like, the whole movie is about the ego. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not. It's not a physical warfare, but the mind. And it's not what you think it is. It's a dope film. But the point is, one quote in the movie was like, if you change what controls you, you can change what you can't control. And it's Wait, up. Whoa, whoa, sorry. Mm-hmm. Bring that one again. Words, pull up. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys edit that one? <laughs> Turn into a <laughs> <laughs> That one, it, it's the pause. What did he just say? Yeah, literally. I was like, and then I have to think about it. You know, I feel that I've always been, I've been free in a sense where nothing controls me. Mm. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel, I, might, I could be wrong, but some, some people might disagree. I don't feel like, you know, that the need to belong, money, love, all of these things, like the average, the things that control most of us, I don't feel like they control me. Like, I'm aware of me wanting to be part of some of these things, if you get what I mean. Yeah. So it doesn't control me, I'm aware of it. But with some people, you can tell what their downfall is going to be based on what controls them. So it could be the need for attention, it could be the need to be loved, be part of a group, the need for, I don't know, money, the need for women, <laughs> which is a downfall for a lot of people. Yeah. Whereas if you dangle that in front of them, it can control them in mm-hmm. a sense. There are some people who are master manipulators that use these things that control you to control you, mm-hmm. whether it's consciously or subconsciously. Mm-hmm. So that core basically says if you change what controls you as a human being, mm-hmm. you're not aware of the things that can control other people, in a sense. If you change what controls you, you can change what you can't control. So if now, I don't have to say to you, okay, your job security is what controls you. I can't say to you, listen, bruv, you want to keep your job, then tweet us over there. It is what you need to do. Yeah. Because you, you've changed what controls you now. You've provided, you're, 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 you're human, you're, you're you. It's a weird quote, to be fair. You can no, take, you can take your I'm own. on this whole control thing lately. So, like, when people tend to get upset, I try and reframe it with going, do you have full control over what's happening? Can you change these, these elements to it? Mm. And only focus on the things that you can control. Thanks. And then it takes an element of being self-aware of knowing your cues. Yeah. Knowing what triggers you. Yeah. And can you change that? So mm. there's people who have anger management. What is their trigger? Can you control that? Mm. What can you do about it? So I get that quote. Because mm. a lot of times we... Especially me, yeah. when I was younger, you used to get upset about the wildest things. Yeah. And yeah. that's controlling. It, it controls your response. It's like, I can get I can get you to do X and X. Yeah. 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 So people you, complain. Yeah. But do you believe you, so you're saying nothing controls you? No. You have a choice. How we, how we, how the reality and what happened behind is <laughs> yeah. not always the same. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I believe that to be the case. But don't get me wrong. There's times where I look at something and it's like, hmm. So the fact that the difference is when I see myself going down that path, I'm aware of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a pipe pipe one. It's like some people blindly follow things, not understanding why or the reason why they do things. Mm-hmm. I feel like when I'm going down a path or I'm chasing that, uh, I'm some sort of satisfaction or attention, things that could control me, I'm aware of it. You know, and I can, mm-hmm. I can actually pull myself back from this and be like, you know what, Paul, that's not you. What are, you, what are you going to do about it? So nobody's perfect, but I try to make myself aware of these things. And I don't, I didn't feel like nothing controlled me, but now I'm more exposed in a sense where I do more publicly. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I do the book, I sell a lot of my, myself, my business stuff through, you know, social media and things. So you're forced to be in a public light and there's no way you can be in the lights but not kind of blinded by it. Mm-hmm. So, you are you, a, a little, yeah. it affects everybody a little bit. You can't ever yeah. stop. Yeah. Your picture gets two likes tomorrow, you're going to be like, mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of these little nuances, but I just try to make myself aware of it and just self analyze quite a bit, you know, spend time in my head and understand why, you know, I might not do anything with that information, but if I understand why or if I change what controls me in a sense, I know I can change my output and how I see things and how I do. And how I believe it. Okay, no, that's that's. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to listen back. To that. <laughs> no, no, I get. I get. No, I'm not the same. I mean, um, it's like. Now, I definitely get what you're saying. I think for a lot of people, it's gonna be in relation to self awareness. So being aware, like you both said, of what is controlling you, yeah. what kind of has that power over you. And yeah. again, it's mad that you're sort of thinking this this forward. I guess this next question does sort of relate to what we asked before, and that say in the next five to ten years where would you like to see yourself? Like, where are you? What are you sort of doing? 
in terms of career or business or life or family mm. on and where's that sort of trajectory because again you're a forward thinker mm. we've established that you're sort of thinking years ahead where are you and what are you doing so it kind of links to the whole what do you want to be remembered for yeah that's a good question um, in terms of like, the next five years there's elements that I don't really think about that I should and then some elements that I think about that you know that I focus on mm. in a sense where I want to be in a position where I've got one or two you know, soldiers just running around the yard. I want to do it. Junior, junior. How many books have you read today? <laughs> Only nine. <laughs> <laughs> Only nine. Only nine. Hey. This brother has read <laughs> your mitts. You get what I mean? Ideally, I want to be, that would be like a, a dream for me. And, you know, being able to wake up and say, you know what, I'm going to take you to school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, wake yeah. up. Mm. You know, but there's some things I don't think about where I should. In a sense where, when anybody has like a financial goal, a business goal, I think about it, but I'm not really think about it because I realize that sometimes, me personally, I set myself a certain goal mm. just to feel good. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like you know, do you get what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if anybody would agree with me. I set myself a goal. Like, I'm going to make 500 k, you know, in the next six years. Mm. It doesn't mean that I've put any sort of plan in place. I don't know if it's not filming or something. No, it's cool. Sure, because I've been there. Yeah, it doesn't mean I've put any sort of plan in place or the actual day-to-day small activities that I'm doing Mm -hmm. is taking me to where I want to get to. So I think about the big picture sometimes, but a lot of the time I'm just trying to focus on being the best I can be now. So in the current moment. Yeah, the current moment is weird. Because you can get a lot of sources. But I think it's it's sometimes necessary to know where you want to go to. You have to make sure that you're doing what you're doing. Exactly. To get there every single day. I think the first time I set a goal like that, just something good that to something yeah, good yeah, for I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two years ago, I've been there. Nice vision board. <laughs> Wait, come on. Yeah, but the day to day is like, bro, you just woke up at 11 o'clock, bro. This is what I'm saying to myself. You wake up at 11 o'clock, you look at the board. There's no, yeah, there's no correlation. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So the point I'm trying to say is like, I have, I have a goal in a sense where obviously I want to progress with things and want to have my business so in, in, a, in a bigger space hitting as many people I want to have my own personal brand in this particular space hitting certain people and I want to actually merge it at a point because not a lot of people know about my company Start Tech but they know about me as a, as a human they don't know behind the company okay. so at one point I want to use my expertise and work to impact companies and other I do that now so now my company Start Tech we work with a lot of like health brands yeah. and I, I consult with health brands as well in a sense where how design can actually aid their growth, how to, imp- how to impact culture with design as well, which is something that I'm getting to more now. But, yeah, I'm still figuring out, to be fair. I, I don't want to sell a dream and say, hey, yeah, five years. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, Top, top, or top, you know. But there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm still figuring out, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's precious though to come here and say some cool stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong? You can't have me, you can't have me. Everyone on the podcast. You said. You said. Yo, today is the day, bro. There's a, there's a quote in the long past. It was the 29th, it was sunny. I remember. We got the clips. It's in the drive. It's up in the Google Drive. <laughs> what have you done, bro? <laughs> And it's worse if you're in a worse position, bro. Oh, man. I think, you know, but I think, touching on but I think, yeah. yeah, it's important to have some sort of, Because yeah, yeah. I, I don't think, for me, I don't think it's realistic to have it super granular. Like, yeah. I, I don't like to have, so I'm sitting to you in that, I have goals written, and I'm like, in the next two to three years, yeah. there's a rough outline. Yeah. If it doesn't go that way, then I'm sure there's other ways. But yeah. I don't like to kind of be like, on Monday, 2 p.m., I'm going to do this, yeah. on Tuesday, I'm going to do that, because reality, yeah. not reality, yeah. but I think, Things happen in life in it that we can't always control. So I think mm. it's important to have what is it, your A, your plan A, your plan B, and your plan Z, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. things don't always go exactly the way you want it. That's just life in general. That's man. the thing, isn't it? That's life in general. Mm. So you spoke about this company, this other one. Yeah, Star Tech. When did that start? This is, you're right, not many people know about it. Yeah, I've had people contact the company and say, hey, do you want to work with us? And if I get to my partner to reply, or I reply. 
hey man, I know you, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, that's been going for a while. That's been going for a while. But at this stage, I really, I want to put a lot of effort into growing it and attacking the, the startup space a bit more, providing more of a reputation for working with certain types of companies in the industry and actually adding value more than just the services that we provide. So I'll give you an example. As of next week, we'll be opening office hours. Okay. So if you've got like a startup or you're trying to start a startup, you can book a time slot and just come into the, come into the office for an hour. You know, we can have a discussion about it. Don't get me wrong, if you want two hours or you want an hour after, it's a paid service. But mm. you can come in and get some consultation, learn a bit more about it. There's so much things I realise people don't know you know, basic things like how to analyze the data on your website yeah, to make informed yeah, decisions. Yeah. That's such a basic thing to me. But um, you have to learn it somehow. As yeah, well. yeah, and some people just don't know it. You know, so I want to do do that, and that goes back to what I said earlier in terms of helping people. It's a big thing. So, yeah. in terms of your own journey to where you are now, have you ever had like a, a mentor of any sort? Or anyone that's kind of been helping you along the way and shaping you, moulding you to the yeah. person that you are today? Oh, nah, to be fair. Serious? Self-made? I want to say self-made, but I've had something what I call mental, mentors. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it from a book, actually. Mental, mental. Mental, it's a weird one, to be fair. It's like if you can't get a physical one, someone that you look up to, just have come to have. <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sounds a bit crazy, isn't it? It's true conversation. <laughs> conversation. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically yeah. the same as what would Jesus do, but yeah, yeah, yeah. for, you know, for people that you look up to, like companies yeah. and fathers. I'm starting to do that now, actually. Yeah, yeah. You man, I'm mad, man. I'm starting to do that, bro. 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 I'm starting to but that's something that I've, I've always thought about. It. It's like, right, like, how come I haven't, you know, attracted somebody in that sense? But have I really tried? Mm -hmm. You know, I had somebody initially when I was like, building a start tech who ran a successful digital agency who I used to contact. But I, I used to think, what am I, for me to get a mentor, this is just what I could be wrong. For me to get a mentor and truly utilize his time or her time, I have to kind of understand what I want. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I just didn't really know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm not going to waste their time, or maybe I should have, to figure out what I wanted out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm in that catch as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a weird one. Because uh, there's often times where I think about what would my life be like if I had a mentor? Yeah. Because I have this expectation that it'd probably be 10x yeah. to where I am today. But at the same time, what would I go to them for? Mm. Like, hey, you, you want to be my mentor? Yeah, what for? Life? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you get that on, the, on this whole rich stuff, yeah. um, how do you define success? Because I remember there was that event with Advice mm. way back, I remember you was there, and the whole conversation, what do you define success as? Mm. And a lot of the times people related success with a financial value or mm. money. How do you define success personally? Oh, it's tricky, man. Do you know what it is? My success goal is is a is something that I can attain right now, but I still align it with things like that. Yeah, you know, like I just want to be happy. I want people around me to be happy. I want to be good. I want to be able to like do what I want in a sense where okay, cool. If I want to travel, I can travel. Mm. If I want to, mom, you know, you can chill for a bit. Mm. Ain't, ain't going to work right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what? We where you work. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah. They can work for you. Have that. Have that. But happiness doesn't come from that. Happiness is just happiness, right? Mm. So it's that balance. That success for me is is just you know being happy and taking care of my people. Freedom, freedom. Yeah. But also being in the position to actually do things, you know, for people in, in a sense. Mm. Start infrastructures to benefit who you have yes. yeah. 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 yeah but it's interesting it's, it's interesting jay-z yeah. jay-z so what does he say um, oh well so, i've got rich and gave back for me that's a win-win yeah. <laughs> i'm a business no i'm a business man no, i'm a business, business man you know that's my guy you know that's my guy um, yeah. linking on from answer's question so yeah. i was going to ask it would you 
that would be a mentor yourself. So if someone came to you either for business mm. or you know the whole sort of plant based diet and, mm. and gym, would you? Is that something you'd be open to? Yeah, definitely. I think I've done that before. You know, I used to mentor at Queen Mary Business School. Okay. You know, um, I used to. There's a lot of things I've done. When you speak about things, like now I'm speaking about things, and you get reminders mm. of certain things that you know. Yeah. So it's not like when you ask a question, any of us is thinking about it. We just speak from our memory bank. Do mm. you get what I mean? Yeah. So that reminds you of stuff that you know, yeah. that ever you should be doing or you're not, or yeah. stuff that means a lot to you. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So I feel like it's very helpful to give knowledge back and this journey that people are on is so far, vast or wide where you might feel about, well, I'm going to mentor someone about it. I'm just, I'm a nobody still. But there's a lot that somebody before you would benefit from in terms of that information. So I'm definitely open to it. I just, ideally, I would like to balance between just casting my pearls to swine and then get that same thing. Yeah. Just giving pearls to myself. Yeah, that yeah, don't really <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. Then, I take that to and swine. Then, yeah. And then actually benefit people's lives you know, in a positive sense. But then, so, so, so just going back on that, with that aspect of looking back on things that you've done, your experiences to give to people, mm-hmm. are you good at, because I'm, I don't know about either of you, but I'm guilty of, and I'm not good at looking back on things I've achieved. Mm-hmm. So when I achieve a goal, new job, say X amount, whatever, I'm just like, what's next? Mm-hmm. And I think I'm at a point where I'm like, actually, you know what? You've got to slow down and be like, yeah. yo, because well, oh, right. it kind of links to the whole ego thing, and yeah. I, I'd say I'm the least, well, I believe I'm one of the least egotistical, I wouldn't like to believe I'm like boastful, mm. which is why I don't usually do it, mm. but I'm starting to learn it's important to look back and be like, you know what, brother? I've done this, this is right. done all right, you know? That's like, not easy to do. That's the thing, because like, <laughs> I think, as you said, we're more critical, we're the most critical yeah, persons of, of ourselves, yeah. isn't it? So it's taking that opposite stance and being like, actually, brother, you've done all right. Mm. Is this something that you do? Are you good at that? I, I, I struggle. <laughs> I, I struggle. <laughs> I struggle. <laughs> I struggle. <laughs> but I think it's a, it's a man thing and it's a young thing. You know, actually, mm. for me, this is a baby food, brother. I haven't even started yet. Like, it, do you know what I mean? It's weird. Like, I, I still feel like, but that's why some of us have issues with happiness, bro, because we're always looking at. Yeah. Yeah. I tried, so then, right, I was doing this whole gratitude thing, journaling, you know, every day I write like, what I'm happy about. Yeah. To be fair, a lot of these things I found if within myself is I do it when things aren't going as well as it should be. Mm-hmm. Once you start winning again. But you know, I've actually been thinking about this recently that you don't do these things when things when you're going through crisis. It should be a consistent part of our life. And the podcast I was listening to just now at the end of Ego is the Enemy was speaking about the guy, the guy was saying that he has a five minute journal he does every single day. Mm-hmm. And I actually, I actually put it in my car, like, I'm gonna find I'm gonna get back to that gratitude stuff because it helps, it helps. The mind, so the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 and then you can start looking back at all these things and appreciating it. And when you actually walk into meetings and stuff, you can actually build up your chest slightly. Like, I'm not just here as a beginner, I have all these wealth of information. Yes, it's just stuff I tell myself anyway. No, it's, it is right. No, you're right. It's, it's I struggle with that. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, for me, it's a big struggle because, like, me and Anton, was, we went out sort of a while back, yeah. like, like some Mexican business, some yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we were yeah. always chatting, and he, he got the journal from me. I was like, I'm good, man. But yeah. then when I actually kind of sit down, at first I was like, This is long, I don't, I don't write, I'm not yeah. a writer, but sort of in the morning and at night. Oh, you didn't know? Um, I've done it this last week, mm-hmm. but sort of not then, like, yeah, yeah, I'm just like, so bless me, bro. No, <laughs> yes. Sometimes I'm like, but it's the same shit. But yeah. I think just actually doing it, the actual yeah. doing it and kind of seeing, you know, what you're grateful for, what yeah. you're happy about. And I'm just like, I never thought about that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. roof up, because there's little things that roof up on my head. Like, yeah. so, like, I think that the practice of taking the time out mm. is a key one as well. Because yeah. often we're just, go, 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 head hits the pillow, you feel a little bit and you fall asleep. Yeah. But that's actually saying a dedicated time, if you're doing it morning or evening, and you're saying, why are going for me? What's yeah. actually happening? How am yeah. I feeling? How am I feeling? Oh, right, I feel that way. What can I have done yeah. to make it better? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to buy a share after this, I need to get on my job. It's to, hard to maintain yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. You say when you go on holiday, you come back, gyms are like, gyms are Yeah. Oh. Creature of habits. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got to do that, but that's important because to be fair with you, when a lot of this stuff happened to me, that stuff helped me a lot. You know, get my mind in a certain, mm. get my mind out of the gut. Mm. You know, even though it goes back to the gut sometimes, as it will when you remember certain things. But yeah, yeah, that stuff definitely helped me, bro. I need to even go back and reread some of the, the things that I wrote as well. I haven't done that. Yeah. I have never like revisited something that I've written in the past. Yeah. I don't know if I'm scared. Yeah. Or just actually creating that time and being raw. Okay, maybe you wasn't okay then. You were yeah. crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that, but I'm yeah. sure I need I to. I feel that's a weird one. To be fair, I can't read the stuff that I wrote. For two reasons. For one, my handwriting is just. I got this huge size. That's the reason, to be fair, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and agree with that. Yeah. yeah cool. it's a big thing, There's a book, that, an audio book, that I, um, I listened to the first two hours of. I haven't finished it. It's called uh, Sleep Smart, Sleep Smarter. Check it out, man. Yeah. I don't know if any of you guys like. Okay, is it like? I think I've got it down somewhere. Yeah. I feel like we might mention it. First two hours is pretty much what you need in a sense, like getting understanding the importance of sleep and like having a routine and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say this now, but it doesn't mean I slept like that. We have to see what it is, man. But when I first read it, this is the problem sometimes. Like, you do it for like two weeks, life is sweet, mm-hmm. you're making progress. Like, there's a big link between sleep and weight gain. Everything. You know, people don't know that. Like, you struggle to lose weight. It's probably a lot of it's to do with sleep, which helps with your hormones, which actually helps regulate certain things. It's Everyone's in it. So it's a matrix, man. So, for me, that's a... Uh, but anyway, I was there for a bit, and I was feeling amazing. Then you just... Pull off, <laughs> Sleep off. Well, well, maybe that's why, as, as, as a must, with the routine that we create for ourselves moving forward, with, with like, the, the, the journaling, sleep is in line with that, you know, there's certain things you can only do on weekend, maybe that's how it will help. Mm. It's me thinking out loud anyway, or what I'm gonna try and do for a week and see if I feel different. That's all you can do is try. You can only try your try the best routine for you and what Facts. really works for you. Because yeah. yeah. I've, I've tried many of things in my little routine and it doesn't work all the time. Yeah. I'm always changing it. Yeah. If the clocks go back an hour, the whole routine hasn't changed. It's mad. It's probably up, right? So what was going on here? The clocks are back an hour. I call me cake. What is that? <laughs> my phone rang at 12 p.m. Cookie! It's actually crazy. <laughs> There's <laughs> one final thought that I've got in my head. So yeah. you mentioned at the start something about pillars. There's different pillars in life. Mm. How many do you, can you define those pillars? Because I've got a number of pillars that I try and set goals to and try and fulfill mm. just in terms of an equal balance. Mm. So, like maintaining relationships, mm. contribution, mm. business, vocation, like work, mm. or having fun. Yeah. And health. Mm. There's probably another one that I can't think about. Fun. Health, mm. wealth, fun, um, spirituality. Yeah, wealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of those things. So, like, those are the things that I kind of see as pillars in life. Mm. So, you're saying health is wealth, because it is, but mm. also your relationships with people. That's wealth. Mm. It's that. How do you ensure all those little pieces? So, that's my kind of pillars. What pillars do you have in mind? I say health, wealth, happiness. Wow. Health, wealth, happiness. Um, and there's like sub pillars of those, of course. Mm. Like happiness could be the spirituality that you spoke about, like your relationship with the being my lost is, or it could be like spending time with your family, and that could actually be wealth to some people. And in terms of balancing, that's you know that's a goal. I don't think there's a such thing as balance, but it's yeah, like it's like, moderation, sort yeah, of fair. Yeah, I don't think I ever get my life to a point that's like cool. Cool. Nirvana. This is bliss. Well, it's a goal, isn't it? Uh, mm. Me, those are the things that I focus on, you know, health, you know, wealth in the terms of generational aspects of mm, it. Come on. You know, trying to actually do things about me because mm. life is short in a sense and yeah. doing it like I might not really benefits in a sense because who knows what tomorrow holds. It's true. Yeah. Um, and then the happiness is like, I'm enjoying being here with you, you know, right now, mm. the moment and <laughs> being present, being, being present, present yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a continuous thing, you know, that whole being present stuff. Because sometimes it's easy not to, you know, like Snapchat will get way distractions, distractions, yeah. or you start like when I go out clubbing, which is a rarity, and the first two hours, this is why you happened to me. The first two hours, I'm in there. You wouldn't, you think I'm drunk? I don't even drink. 
I mean, they're like, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. so over the last two hours, I'm thinking to myself, I could be working right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, start, you, start, you start thinking, you know what I mean? That means you're not living in the present anymore. Yeah, that's yeah, something yeah, that yeah. happened to me a lot. People be like, Paul, why are you quiet? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm right thinking, like, yo, I'm a week over 10, 30 pounds. Do you know what I mean? It's a double shot. Yeah, double yeah, shot. I don't even drink you. So I'll buy the shot and I'll be like, yo. Because <laughs> I'm going to do you know what I mean? But nowadays, I probably wouldn't do that. I, I will try to, like, today's the only time I'm going to be Let me have fun with this and whatever will take care of itself. Yeah, so yeah. being in the present is, is a continuous goal that I, I work to. Mm-hmm. I like that. I'll give you wrong now, probably check Instagram all the way home. We're human, isn't it? We're human, right. like, it's You know what's it's right, but you know, yeah, you got these, these, yeah, these, yeah, these, yeah. the yeah. refinement of life. That's it. Is there anything else that you want to like leave our listeners with? Where can they find you? At Dungobok, D U N G B O O K, everywhere. Facebook, YouTube, my website's up. I've got some good books for you. I've got, my, I've got one book on business, which I wrote on the half of my company. So I spoke to about 20, 30 entrepreneurs. Okay. I wanted to understand why things don't work because some of the advice, right, in a sense. So I got quotes from a lot of different people. I put it together in a quick guide. In terms of how to start a business, it's like a very basic guide. Yeah. From how to register a company, how to acquire first customers, how to get your team together. And uh, you can, if you go on my company, which is Start Tech, S-T-A-T, S-T-A-R-T-T-E-C-K dot com, and go to the blog, it will pop up. Okay, okay. And then you can download that there. And then I got on my, my book I recent I recently released, which is my herb book, if you want to get into herbs. Now herbs are a big part of my life. I had some herbs this morning. Do you know? <laughs> Not that kind of herbs, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to the same. No, but to be fair, in the book I do have a little part where I speak about smokable herbs. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, smokable herbs, like different things. So that's if you're trying to get into all that, I know the whole passing of Dr. Savi recently. Yeah. Got people's mind thinking about a lot of different things and a lot of it, a lot of the rationale behind the thoughts of how herbs impacted us, even in a historical perspective and how religion like, stifled the growth of that segment of health, mm. you know, like what our forefathers, you know, even our grandparents now, mm. they will say, Yo, you're cool. You know, have this, have yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that whole in- information passed down from generation, I tried to put into a guide. And then obviously my company, if you want any design elements for your brand, for your company, you want to talk about UX, UI, and you want to actually take advantage of my walk-in clinic, which I'll be calling a stuff there clinic, just go to the website, you can drop us a contact form, any information will be out probably by the time this is out. Mm. Okay. That's it. And then this is my just do. Do what you can do to be what you can be and live. Yes, I love that, I love that. What about any upcoming sort of events or anything? I got my deadlift party next week. Was it next week? Yeah, oh, next, this oh, time next week. Oh, next Saturday, it's going to be, it's going to be emotional, man. I'm just looking forward to the energy in the room. And then I'll probably have my B barbecue a month and a half after. I'm just planning it now. Cool. So, yes. Be working, be working, you know. No days off, yeah? Uh, apart from, you know, I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> sleep? Oh, I'm dead. Dead. <laughs> sleep for a week. A week. I sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> sleep? <laughs> what you got? What you have a tombstone for? Uh, That's I'll your window. I sleep for eight hours. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, yeah. 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 One final piece. Oh, you spoke about personal brand. Yeah. What will be your personal brand? Just who I am. I feel like you can't meet me in real life and go, oh, poor, you're different on that, you know. Like, <laughs> nah. Don't get me wrong, I put, my best, I, put my, I put my best foot forward in a sense. But I feel like I'm better in real life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's something that um, I want to keep, you know. I feel like I'm better in real life. I don't show everything online. Yeah. My personal brand is just authentic, you know. I, I, I try, you know, I try. If I can, I'll try. But my personal brand is... I do. <laughs> like, I build things, you know. I build things, like I build the car, I'm building my company, I'm building like the whole thing with government. My personal brand is. 
Yeah. Just a guy that's yeah, educating himself, from from himself. Yeah. understanding yeah. himself, educating himself along the journey, yeah. sharing yeah. it with other people. Yeah. So you guys got better than me, man. I'm in it for you. I'm the manager now. You don't understand those things, you know? Signing my contract after this. That's what I said. But to make me happy. That 10%? We're trying to retire tomorrow morning. Pressure. <laughs> I think that's us for now, isn't it? Uh, that is us for us. That yeah. is us for this episode. Um, thank you for coming down. It was oh, a great yes. episode, and yeah, just been willing to have you come down for a minute. So it's like good to finally have you come down, and like, I appreciate. It. Had a great chat, and yeah, just gonna watch you do your thing. So yeah, you're shining now, man. Just keep doing your thing, and yeah, we appreciate you coming down. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, you, you know, you know where you can find them. Give them the plugs. They will do more on socials as well. And as always, you know where to find us. We can be found on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can watch us on YouTube. We can also be emailed at info at typingpodcast.co.uk. And as always, people, keep it locked.